Hi everyone, so today we're going to review food. I know I haven't reviewed food in a while. And today we have this special edition Kit Kat. So, so look at it. Cool, cool. It's Kit Kat Zebra, which is a dark and white chocolate Kit Kat. So, it's quite cool. Um, just going to check it out with you guys. Cool. This is really, really cool looking packaging, to be honest. I bought it from Jai Grocer, so yeah. Um, apparently, it's also made out of Rainforest Alliance Cocoa. Yeah, it's quite cool. All right. So again, one bar per serving. Oh, I can't see the. Oh, I can't see the sugar. Okay, I can see sugar. So it is about. I'm just. Can I just tear this off a little bit? Yeah? Again, Kit Kat zebra. Let's tear it off. Sorry. How do you open the Kit Kat? Or right, I know you're supposed to eat it, not crunching through it, but just like one by one stick. Uh, sugar wise, yeah. So wow. Per bar is about 20 grams of sugar, which is more than 100 ml of coke, which is double, 111 grams, but yeah, almost double the amount of the amount of sugar in a coke, which is quite impressive. So again, get zebra. So I'm going to tell you the price, I'm just going to freak out. So the price in Malaysia is RM10, so it's like $2.50 USD, which is crazy for a bar, like... So there's four bars, I assume, in here. I will find out how many bars there are in here. And assuming there's four bars, it's like $2.50 ringgit per bar, which is crazy. But yeah, 10 ringgit for this, just one this. Yeah. So I'm just going to open it up. And we'll find out how many there are inside. And also, if you eat um, Kit Kat in a different way, just if you know there's any better, better way to eat Kit Kats other than one by one bar, you put it in the comments below. I would love to find out because I know some people feels like it's blasphemous for you to just bite through. Hey! Hey, I did not expect this. Okay, so I saw this in the picture, right? I thought it was just like a more of a marketing thing. But it does look like that in the, in the packaging as well. It's just really, really cool. Look at this one, man. i open both sides. Oh, wow. That is so cool. It's a really good thumbnail, to be honest. Okay. So yeah, Kit Kat Zebra. So let's see. Uh, dark and white chocolate. Let's see how it tastes like, yeah? So I, yeah, forgot to freak some out but anyway, I usually eat them one by one bar. Yeah, so, okay, no crunchiness of the bar. Oh, because there's no wafer in it. Is there? There should be wafers in it, right? But on the side, it's just chocolate. Oh, sorry. Yeah, there's no wafers on the side. Because usually Kit Kat has wafers in the middle. Yeah, I think so. So, straight away, taste test. Let's see, the picture says that it has a um, wafer in the center, so let's break it up and see, okay? So this is the full Kit Kat bar. Let's break it up. Yeah, there's very little wafer in it. So let's taste it up. You know what? Hmm. Well, it doesn't taste like any Kit Kat I've tried. Because I think it's dark and white chocolate. So, I assume the normal Kit Kat, I'm just put a picture of normal Kit Kat, just case anybody doesn't know. But, I assume the normal Kit Kat's made out of normal chocolate, and neither dark nor white. But this one is made out of dark and white, and then with the same wafer. The wafer tastes the same. But the dark and white is interesting. Hmm. Really cool design as well. So, really not a lot to say. Um, on the sweetness level, it is sweeter than a normal Kit Kat. But is it dark? It's supposed to be making it a bit more. Okay, it's bitter. So. It's supposed to be more, more bitter, and white chocolate is supposed to be more sweet. But overall, this is sweeter than anything else. Sweeter than almost Kit It is tasty, quite tasty. I'm just gonna break another one for the camera. Yeah, there's no crunch sound at all. So I'm gonna break one more so that you guys can hear. No, no crunch sound. Nothing. It's not just pure chocolate. Yeah, there's really no wafer in between. 
It's only pure chocolate. So yeah. So again, that's quite interesting. That's the only wafer. This is actually just the wafer is in the mid in the middle of the chocolate bars, not in between. So that's quite interesting. It just tastes very good though. I'll give a kick at that. So let's go straight away to the is it worth it? So the taste is interesting, sweeter than normal. But the price though, again, like I said earlier, the price is RM10. RM10 is a stupid amount of price for food. Like, it is super, super expensive. It's stupidly expensive. So, that's really the one that's taking me like a while to think about whether it's worth it, right? Well, I'm just Kit so. So, if I wanna say, is it worth it? No. Because it is sweeter than normal KitKat. But I wouldn't say it's four times. I think the KitKat's about $2 or something. I'll put the price of KitKat as well in the description. But this cannot be worth four times the amount of KitKat. It's a little bit sweeter. There's no wafers in between, which is weird. But, this is a thing. But yeah, so. Is this worth it? No. Should try it once? Yeah. Hell yeah. Should go by and try it once and share with like four friends and display it. <laughs> so I know eating two is really too much for me. So it is much much sweeter than KitKat. And if, if, if a KitKat bar, right? I can definitely go through at least two of these four bars things so it's not even two is really too much for my mouth. So yeah. Thanks again guys for watching the review. So the cheers we'll be using Skag. Cheers!